good day everyone welcome back to tech genie in this video i will be sharing the very best methods to fix critical process died blue screen error on windows 10 and windows 11. so randomly you get a blue screen on your computer on your windows 10 and 11 that says your pc ran into a problem so now this problem can be because of multiple reasons like due to some kind of cpu overclocking some kind of malware attack this can be even because of some cpu or the memory usage and even because of the outdated driver so here are a couple of powerful solutions that i will be sharing with you and you can apply them one by one and let me know in the comment section which method work for you now assuming that you are in a blue screen page only and you're not able to do anything so in that case you will have to start the computer in the advanced options so for that on your pc or on your laptop you need to press and hold the power button until the computer gets shut down. So press and hold, shut down the computer, again restart the computer, and as soon as you see the Windows logo or the manufacturer logo, again forcefully shut down the computer by pressing and holding the power button. Now you have to repeat this step for three to four times, and the next time when you will restart the computer, the computer will be booting up, with some advanced option you will be getting a message preparing up the automatic repair loop all right now here finally you will see this kind of blue screen and once you find it here you will find the troubleshoot option so first you have to click on troubleshoot then click on advanced options and here you will see a couple of options so first that i would be recommending you that you should go with the startup repair so you can click on a startup repair and it will be fixing the problem that keep windows from loading all right so first you can try with this method if this method works for you then you are good to go but in case if this doesn't work then again you have to come back to the same page and then here you have to go with system restore so if you have created any restore point when the computer was working fine then you can click on this option choose that particular date and restore the computer now in case if this also doesn't work again you have to follow the same steps to come back to this page and the next time you can try uninstalling the latest update probably there is some kind of update creating a problem so you can click on uninstall update and here you can choose uninstall latest quality updates again click uninstall quality update and now this will start deleting uninstalling the quality update that was recently installed so after that check back again if the problem get fixed now in case if all these three method doesn't work then again come back to this page of blue screen click on troubleshoot advanced option and here you have to click on startup settings now this will be asking you to restart the computer because we have to start the computer in safe mode so click on restart and you will be getting this kind of screen now here we have to start the computer in safe mode and you can see that it says number four enable safe mode so from your keyboard you have to press the f4 key so just tap on f4 key and now the computer will be restarting and it will be coming up in safe mode now the reason why we are coming in the safe mode because here we have to assure that there is no problematic applications or there is any kind of problem with the drive if the drive has been full then we have to delete some data so now you can see that we are in the safe mode and here first we have to open the file explorer then we have to click on this pc and here just assure that local disk c where your operating system has been installed this drive has enough space if there is no space or very low space available then also you can get this kind of blue screen so in order to get the space what you can do you can just clean all your recycled bin item delete the item from the downloads delete unwanted junk i've already created a video on that you can check that video and after that we also need to check for unwanted application or any kind of problematic application so even if you have recently installed any kind of application program and you think after that only you are having the problem then right click on your windows icon choose settings from the left hand menu option click on apps then from the right hand side you have to look for all the application installed here whichever you feel that is suspicious or you don't want or you feel that recently you have installed you can click on the three dot and choose uninstall so once you are done with this again restart your computer 
and again come back to this page and now this time we have to run few command in order to fix the boot the mbr and the mbr files so here again click on troubleshoot then click on advanced options then you have to choose here command prompt now once you come to command prompt you have to type multiple command here that you will be getting in the description you can also manually type as i'm typing over here so the first one will be boot rec space forward slash fix mbr hit the enter key now the next one will be boot rec space forward slash fix boot again hit the enter key in case if you get any access denied or er any error message then you can skip that you can move with the next command so the next command will be boot sect space forward slash nt60 space sys hit the enter key again and the next one will be boot rec space forward slash rebuild hit the enter key again and then we have to type ssc space forward slash scan now now this command will be scanning for all kind of integrity violation any kind of infection so let this command run until it get 100 percent completed and once it will be done final command will be chk dsk space c two dot and again hit the enter key again this will be examining the basic file system structure and many more file and the memory so just make sure it get completed and once all the command get completed you can close it and then again click on continue and check back if the problem get fixed now in case after applying all these solution is still the problem has not been fixed then you can go and reset your pc so again follow the same steps to come to this advanced option blue screen then click on troubleshoot and then on reset this pc now here you get two different options if you want to remove everything that i would recommend you if you don't have any kind of data important data then you can go with the second option but if you want your data then you have to go with the first option that says keep my file remove apps and setting but keep your personal file so this will be only deleting the settings the application that you have manually installed by yourself but all the data that you have in your drive will be safe so choose this option and see that if the problem get fixed by this option now in case if nothing works for you then finally you will have to go with the fresh installation of your windows 10 or windows 11 and for that you need a bootable windows 10 or windows 11 drive bootable drive i've already created a video on that you can check that video that how to create a bootable drive and then using that bootable drive you can freshly install the windows 11 or windows 10. So hopefully guys this complete list of solution will surely help you to fix blue screen error of death critical process died your PC ran into a problem issues on your Windows 10 and Windows 11 and if you found this video helpful do not forget to like and subscribe and I see you in the next video bye bye.